Hey, baby. How was your day? Hmm? Oh, yeah. I took the day off work today to decorate for Halloween. Yeah, I just told my manager I had a cold. So, uh, it's not super extravagant, but I hung up some black and orange streamers, hung some little tissue paper ghosts here and there, carved us a cute little jack-o'-lantern over here. I wanted to get more creative than just the standard spooky smiley face. But I didn't want to do the obvious and make it like Jason or Michael Myers. So it's a gremlin. You like it? Baby, do you mean to imply you don't love Halloween? Ah, oh, more of a Christmas person, huh? I mean, Christmas is good too, but I'm not so crazy about the awkward gatherings with extended family you almost never see otherwise. The massive turkey dinners that won't possibly get eaten, so a bunch of food always gets wasted. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, I'm glad that it's not just me being a hermit. On Halloween, you can just meet up with some friends, dress up like goofballs, eat candy, and watch horror movies. Much more my scene. Oh, I picked up stuff for my costume today as well. Uh, you want to see? Okay, come into the bedroom. Now, it's a bit minimalist. More so than I actually like, but due to the vile blight sweeping the land, a lot of what I needed I'd have to order online, and October could be over by the time it gets here. I think you'll like it, though. I've got some face paint here, and some cat ears, and a tail, which I've slightly modified with some fake hair to make them fluffier and bigger, and some fangs... It's a low-budget werewolf! Yeah, I know, I wanted to go a lot further out. I was gonna order a mask and stuff to make a full suit and everything. No, I wasn't gonna make a fursuit. <laughs> Babe, I'm serious. It was gonna be really scary werewolf costume. A cute little anime werewolf, huh? You're lucky I love you. Otherwise, I might take a bite out of your cute face. Any ideas of what you're going to be? Oh, yeah. I'm excited to hear this. Sorry, what is it? Babe, I think I'm rubbing off on you. I have never heard of that. Not that I'm anyone to judge for liking obscure stuff, of course. That's part of the fun of dressing up, you know? The anticipation, the surprise. Speaking of which, I did tell you about my personal holiday tradition yet. I haven't? Oh, man, that's kind of awkward, uh, considering it's Halloween night tonight, of course. Sorry, babe. I guess I've been kind of distracted lately. <laughs> okay, so it's not going to be a surprise to you at all. In fact, I've already kind of spoiled it for you. Yeah, it's spooky movie night. <laughs> no, you don't win a prize for that. I could have asked you what color a pumpkin is, and it could have been less obvious. To be more specific, we pick three movies. A horror classic, a well-regarded modern horror film, and some weird shit none of us have seen yet. However, since this is our first Halloween together, I thought it might be nice if we just choose. Also, because, you know can't really do big gatherings right now, uh, but it could also be a good date night. 
What do you say? Great! Okay, let's go over to the movie pit. Let's see. The movie pit. The dresser where I keep my Blu-ray collection. Oh, okay, come on. I know I've told you about this. Uh, I see. See, I knew you were teasing me. You're getting closer to that bite, buddy. Um, first of all, we pick our classic. And no, we can't watch Halloween. Let's try to get a little creative. Unless you're talking about, like, Halloween 3. Because that one doesn't even get enough love. How about... Mm -hmm. uh, Prince of Darkness. Pumpkinhead? Evil Dead? I don't know, that's also kind of obvious, don't you think? New Evil Dead? Better than the original. Hmm, see, in this case, that's a hard call to make. Like, the new one has a lot more money behind it and is a lot more polished, but the original is so creative. It's such a perfect example of, like, DIY filmmaking. Like, you're almost glad they didn't have more resources and an expertise to work with. Because having to get over those hurdles drove them to come up with so much insane stuff. No amount of money can produce that kind of charm. Don't get me wrong, as far as remakes go, the new Evil Dead is definitely one of the better ones. The atmosphere and carnage and the effects were all spot on. I liked how it wasn't too, like, slavish, devoted to the source material as well. They tried to tell their own story, and the easy thing to do would have been just to stealth remake the second movie, because, let's be honest, that's probably the first thing everyone thinks of when... Wait. You haven't seen Evil Dead 2? Okay, I'm gonna bend the rules a bit here. There's normally way too obvious of a pick for the classic, but this is a major gap in your Halloween experience that needs to be filled. So, Evil Dead 2 is going to be our classic. Now for the modern movie. Yeah, I've got The Lighthouse. You haven't seen that either? Aw, oh, come on. Twilight was a long time ago. Robert Pattinson is a really great actor. And as much as I can't relate to complaining about a job that pays in the millions, the constant shade he threw on those movies even when he was in them was just great. You'll like The Lighthouse. It's basically like Edgar Allan Poe's Martin Gray panic movie. See, that's part of what's cool about it. I thought it was going to be another, like, Lovecraft-inspired movie as well, but it's a lot more like Poe. Not that there would have been anything inherently wrong with another wannabe Lovecraft movie. It's just nice to see some love for another iconic writer of the macabre. Oh my god. Stephen King becoming his own genre? Kingian fiction? Wait, I mean... Hasn't that kind of already happened? That's basically what Stranger Things started as, wasn't it? So, The Lighthouse? Okay, Evil Dead 2, Lighthouse. Oh, wow, this is already going to be a roller coaster. Now, for the last part, and one of the most dangerous crapshoots you'll likely ever take... Now we go into a streaming service and find some random movie we've never heard of to cap it all off. Sometimes you get a hidden gem. Sometimes you find some hall, some college kids art film where they throw every trick they've learned in film school at the camera and see what sticks. Let's get the laptop out. And let's go into the horror section and see... What do we have? Hmm. Uh, what about this one? The Sewing. Check this out. A day in the corn maze turns deadly for a group of tourists as a pagan blood ritual begins. And there's a sign in the preview image saying Samhain. 
You want to bet they pronounce it Samhain? Oh, you're Googling it? Oh, it's a slasher movie? Okay. The killer looks kind of cool. I dig the goat mask as a skull. Yeah, a slasher movie set in a corn maze does sound fun. Hmm. That review score there doesn't look good. Mm, let's take a quick look at that. Oh man, everyone's saying it's really boring. They don't even show any of the kills? A slasher movie where they don't show the kills? Isn't that, like, illegal? How are we supposed to safely indulge in our innate primal bloodlust if we don't see gratuitous pretend violence? <laughs> Yeah, I agree. Let's keep looking. Hey, what about that one? The one with the Ouija board nailed to the wall in... What is that? A public bathroom? Yo, is this a movie about summoning demons in a Walmart bathroom? The Mall. Urban explorers investigate a closed-down shopping mall only to find that the hostile spirits have taken up residence within. That actually sounds cool. Totally. There's not enough movies about urbex going wrong. It's a really unexplored idea for a horror fiction, I think. Come on, you know I intended that pun. But seriously, you know that a closed mall we drive by sometimes? That place has been abandoned for years. Anything could be going down in there. Let's Google it. Mm, the reviews are okay. Looks like it might be another dull one. That's a shame. The premise actually sounds neat. Mm, what do you think? Mm, yeah, maybe not that one. Uh, back to browsing. Mm. What the hell? <laughs> Yeah, that one. Pantomime. A college sophomore begins studying the occult and finds herself stopped by a demonic mime? Okay, babe, I'm sorry. I have to see the emo mime movie. Nope, don't Google it. No reviews, no trailer. I don't want to spoil this for me. I need to experience this for myself. Please, can we watch the evil mime? Oh my god, thank you. So Evil Dead 2, The Lighthouse, and The Pantomime. This is going to be an interesting night. <laughs> now, I've got some popcorn and candy, and we still have some of that whiskey left over. We just need to get our costumes on, and we can start. Sound good? Okay, great. I'll be right back. It's just going to take me a little while to do the face paint. Babe, you ready? Oh, wow. Hey, <laughs> I'm looking for my partner. They look a bit like you, but, uh... <laughs> I know, it's a really good costume, babe. That's what I'm saying. How's mine? No, I'm not gonna ooh for you. It wasn't supposed to be an anime werewolf. <sighs> okay, I guess I'm a little cute. Besides, you said so. Now, I see you've got everything ready to go here. There's been, there's even some comfy blankets on the couch. Good thinking. I'm ready to start when you are. Then, get down here. The soothing tones of Bruce Campbell's insane laughter awaits us. Hmm? 
You need something else? All right. What is it? You need me to... Yeah, no. Give me the remote. Uh, hey, come on. Give it here. Uh, hey, hey, come on, baby. <laughs> okay, fine. <sighs> you have no idea how lucky you are that I love you. You're never going to tell anyone about this. This is just between us. Got it? All right. Here we go. That was me taking a bite out of your cute face. Just like I said, I would if you kept being a little shit. If you continue to be a little shit. Well, then I might have to take more than a bite. But we haven't even started the first movie yet. And I still want to see the evil mime. So, don't push your luck too fast. Happy Halloween. Hey everybody, it's me, Gemini Audios. Just wanted to say thank you to the patrons who are helping support this channel. If you want to support in any way, feel free to look. The links will be down below. Also, if you're 18 years or older, feel free to join us in the Gemini Audios Discord server. We hang out, we chill. Also, I'll be live streaming more. Also, we do other things like game nights. Also, you can meet up with people, talk, chat, and get to know us. And sometimes I'm in there, so feel free to come and chat with me if you ever want to speak and hang out. The link to the Discord will be down below as well. Thank you guys so much. And remember, Gemini loves you. Bye-bye!